some pretty unacceptable work on a crease here. So what we're going to do is knock that back down into its uh, former glory and show you what this stand liner tool can do for it. Hey, what's up guys? This is Jim here. So if you watch enough of my videos, you'll probably see a lot of stand liner tools being used. If you watch my MTE video, you'll probably see that I bought about $3,000 worth of stand liner tools at the 2019 MTE. Um, interesting, interesting thing about stand liner uh, is they kind of have this aura around them. Um, one thing is a lot of guys, uh, especially newer techs, think that they're going to make all the difference in the world. That's not true. They're going to take what's already there. Uh, your skill set and they're gonna amplify it a little bit um, but you need to learn the basics with basic tools first now when stand liner first came out all these shapes were really funky and people really shied away from them because they were way off of what they were used to nowadays uh, 2019 MTE like I said they sold out of the funky ones the quickest because people see that oh wow this stuff actually works so what we're gonna look at today is this crease uh, competition here in town, not even competition really, just another tech here in town, um, obviously wasn't that adept at fixing crease dents. Um, and so we kind of hacked this one up a bit. We were asked to fix it. Um, so we're gonna use the pirate hook. Now, the way you use the pirate hook is really off base from what you would normally do. It's not a pushing motion, it's actually a rocking motion. It's gonna be like that. There you go, that's the angle we're looking for. Now this edge here is going to be what's contacting the panel. I'm not sliding, I'm rocking it back and forth to the tip to the heel, to the tip to the heel, then move it over, do the same thing. And that's actually going to work out your crease and it works it out very quickly, um, unlike any other tool that I've ever seen. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to set up this camera. I hope it catches uh, the tool in action, but if not, I'll explain it. Thanks guys. Okay, now I framed this the best I could with the GoPro, uh, and I'm gonna be right in here. Um, so I kind of look funny leaning into the camera. But what you're gonna see is, hopefully the GoPro picks up at least most of it, that the concept is out there. It's, it's not a concept that you're uh, accustomed to, but the application isn't too bad. So let's go ahead and do this crease real quick and uh, show you why these are good tools. So again, I've knocked down what the competition did back into the best crease I could make it. Um, he did break the paint in one spot, um, but that's okay. They know, they know what to expect. We might brush some clear coat on it later. Okay, now this is a very small crease. Um, it definitely would have been a lot faster had the original tech not touched it in the first place, but still you're gonna see here that a lot faster doesn't mean a whole lot of time. I think this, uh, works out in about a minute and 45 seconds. So the game we're playing with this tool is a rocking motion like I showed you, back and forth, A to B, um, from the heel to the tip of that tool. So here you can see that it would appear that I'm sliding it, but it's really not. That's just kind of what your brain wants to think. Um, it's got a very, very slight curve. Now on the bigger version of this tool, um, the curve is a lot more obvious. Here we are at about 45 seconds. You can already see that the change in this dent is dramatic. Um, it doesn't really matter what tool you pick. It is incredibly difficult to get a crease to come this smoothly, this quickly. We're gonna hit a minute right here, and that is pretty incredible. In the future, you can expect a whole bunch of stand liner tool reviews. Like I said, I bought a bunch at MTE. That's where I spent most of my time. Um, and. Thomas has promised to have his father, who designs these tools, uh, show me, walk me through the way some of the more crazy looking designs work. Uh, the one they were pushing at MTE 2019 was the Killer Whale Sail. Um, it does effectively the same thing, just a hell of a lot more power behind it. Basically finished up here, again, if that tech had not touched in the first place, we probably could have shaved about 30, 40 seconds off this minute and 45 second crease repair. Now, if you can believe it or not, that's it. Had the other guy not uh, picked it up, caused some high spots that are difficult to repair with just this tool, and we had just had the crease to start out with, um, this could have been 100% in that amount of time. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to go ahead through with the circus rod, clean up the little pits that he's 
that are caused because of the, the excessive damage that he caused with his tools. Um, and that's going to be finished up. But as you can see, that's a crease that he probably spent 10 minutes, 15 minutes jacking up. And I could have had it done in a minute. Something like that. Um, even faster than you saw. Because a lot of that time was going through and rolling that tool in there um, to pick up some of the lines that he created. So, well, there you go. That is the pirate hook from Standliner. That's its application. So go ahead. Um, we're gonna do a whole line of Standliner tools. I talked to Thomas and he said he'd appreciate if we uh, go ahead and showed how some of these are used, um, especially the ones that I'm intimately familiar with. There's some that I'm not even exactly sure how to do it, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show everything that I know about Standliner and I'm gonna show you why this is my favorite tool company um, and why I choose to spend so much money on their tools. All right, well, everybody, till next time, I'll see ya.